What's up, Minmo? I'm Lila Gross, and here's a look at what's going down in Hollywood. Some sad news came out of Hollywood yesterday. Actress Rita Wilson revealed she was diagnosed with breast cancer. The star underwent a double mastectomy and reconstructive surgery last week. Wilson says her initial exam showed no cancer, but she did decide to get a second opinion, and that's when they discovered it. The actress has taken a leave of absence from her latest project on Broadway with her husband, Tom Hanks, by her side. We're all hoping that Rita makes a full recovery. As secret agent James Bond, Daniel Craig has a license to kill, but the UN had a different idea. The British actor received a license to save. He was appointed the first global advocate for the elimination of mines and explosive hazards. Craig will spend the next three years raising awareness while collecting political and financial support for the cause. Craig said he was honored to accept the role. The actor is currently filming the fourth James Bond movie in the series. The White House hosted some of gospel's music legend and top contemporary artists. This was part of the In the White House series. President Obama and members of the first family attended the event. It boasted performances from many artists, including the Queen of Soul herself, Aretha Franklin. The event was held in a celebration of the American tradition of gospel music. It was the 14th performance as part of the program during Obama's administration. These performances will air on PBS on June 26th. And for now, that's a wrap for your Red Carpet Report.